it's weird because when I when I wanted to divorce, I called her. We was, I thought I thought we was gonna be cool, and we both said like let's let's be an example of how a divorce should be. Doesn't okay. have to be like throwing stones. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, well, I do know what happened. But what happened? I know how it got public because. I filed okay. and I called her. I said, look, I don't want you to be blindsided. There's going to be a process server coming because we had a, a house in Ohio and a house in California. Okay. But we voted in Ohio. Right. We paid taxes in Ohio. So I filed in Ohio. Right. And I filed in a small country town where they mm. used to like plumbers and waitresses right. going to divorce. It'll so, never get out. Oh, never getting out. And that wasn't the goal to get out. Right. So it just, <clears throat> when I went and met with the lawyer and said, you know, I want a divorce. And she goes, okay, went to the... They got to submit all this paperwork mm -hmm. and there's only two judges in this town. So you're at the mercy of them. Right. So when I left, I thought I just got to not come home for a couple of weeks because you got to be able to homestead and mm -hmm. things like that. And then it took like two months. So I kept coming up with these goofy reasons why I couldn't come home. Like, right. yeah, we're going to add a show on Monday and all this other <laughs> stuff. And I'm going to do a podcast. And right. never came out. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just stalling. Right. Right. I literally come with her. I'm out of excuses. I, I'm going to have to tell her. And the day I told her, the next day. Oh, the, you you were stalling her because she was in Ohio. Correct? No, she was in California. She was in California. I'm but in you, Ohio, you, okay. but I'm on the road every weekend. Right. So it was during COVID. Okay. So all the comedy clubs were half full. Right. And we were adding shows on Monday. But then I was doing like Wednesday through Monday at the comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. And then finally the paperwork came in. And my lawyer called me and says, they're on the way to go serve her. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh. So I was like, I'm going to call her. I don't want her to get blindsided. I don't want... My son answered the door or anything like that. So I called her. I said, look, I'm not happy. I want a divorce. And then she she was like, she was cool. And then she, I said, look, I don't want somebody knocking on the door to surprise you because the process server is on the way. She goes, wait a minute, you've already met with a lawyer? And that's when everything flipped. I go, all right. I got the ring camera on my phone. 